Greetings, Eric Backer, naturopath and author of Candida Crusher. First of all, I'd like to thank the many men that have purchased my book Candida Crusher in the past 12 months. This has shown me that many men also suffer from yeast infections and are interested in looking at a resolution. And it also clearly shows me that yeast infection is not a woman's problem like many practitioners unfortunately think it is. Many men suffer from yeast infection of the private areas of the inner thigh, of the scrotum, around the rectal area and also around the penis, the glans penis, all those areas can can drive a guy crazy when they become infected with Candida albicans. I've seen many hundreds of men come to me complaining of these symptoms. Some of them have got mild problems and in fact some patients are pretty desperate and even suicidal because they've been sent from one doctor to another doctor and give them some vaginal cream or some stupid treatment which didn't really result in anything at all. So if you're a guy watching this now and have got a men's yeast infection, I can help you. I've helped many men. So you'll find a lot more in chapter four in, in my book, you know, on some quick solutions. And also yeastinfection.org has got some good good ideas on it. So what are you going to do if you've got a yeast infection and you're a guy? You're just going to use Vagicil or something like that? Don't laugh, but this is something that many men have told me that's been recommended to them, you know, by their general practitioner. It's quite a stupid treatment. Yeast infection requires internal treatment as well as external treatment. It's very important you tackle this area on a couple of different fronts if you want to get a good resolution. Internal treatment, I mean, you need to cut out alcohol for some time. So if you're a guy watching this now and you've got a yeast infection of the penis or or the rectal area, uh, it's driving you crazy, it's itchy, and you're drinking beer or wine or spirits and you think you can cure it, with some cream or you're wasting your time. You need to make some changes. You really need to make some changes to your diet and lifestyle long term to stop feeding this yeast infection, to reduce the food supply. It's very important that you consider this point that I'm making here. I've seen all too many people who just consider it an external problem that needs a cream. So you can read more of my writings on ericbacker.com as well regarding diet and lifestyle. So you need to make changes. So what kind of changes do you need to make? Well, one of the, I think, better diet approaches for the guy is the MEVI diet. So meat, eggs, vegetables, and yogurt. So a kind of paleo approach is going to work well, but I don't want you just eating a whole bunch of meat, barbecues and you know foods like that and ribs. You need to have plenty of vegetable matter as well, green leafy vegetables. The fermented and cultured foods are important too to put good bacteria back into the body. So good quality yogurt and kefir is also good. Kefir is quite an important uh, food to eat to put you know, lots of beneficial bacteria there, change the pH of the gut. But probably by far the biggest one for males is cutting out alcohol for some time. I tell you now guys, if this problem is really driving you crazy and you are really at your wit's end and want to get rid of this problem, you need to listen up. You need to make those changes. Because treating this thing purely on the external is a waste of time. Okay, it really is a waste of time. You can cure this thing completely. I had really bad jock itch in my 20s to the point where it drove me nuts. I was itching and scratching the skin. It was bleeding. Having a shower or going swimming was just a nightmare. It was pain. It stopped me from wanting to have relationships. I got very depressed over the whole thing. So if this is you right now, I've been where you are. You can cure this thing completely, right? But you need to make those changes for at least three to six months. And you need to do the external treatment. And you can read a lot more about external treatment in my other writings or my other video clips. So, okay, just bear that in mind. You need to do the external stuff and the internal stuff. But the big one for you fellas is cut that alcohol out for some time. All right? And it will work for you. Hope it wasn't too hard on you guys today. Thanks for tuning into my video today.